now i am showing a different type of build pipeline creation scenario first i am going to the pipeline and click the pipeline now i haven't any pipeline is present there first of all i am showing you the microsoft previous generated classic pipeline but we are uh, i'm not recommended using the classic pipeline uh, try to use in the co um, uh, command base or programming based pipeline that is ym pipeline microsoft new build it this but if you are uh, working on the previous pipeline pattern that is classic pipeline so if i click there and here you see the uh, now the user skin is there but if you are in older edition previously they used the classic editor then if you click the classic then the ui is showing this pattern okay so project what is repository that is our repository udemy backend api which version for uh, default bar, uh, which uh, branch you are using suppose i am calling this i am using the master branch click the continue then which configuration using the azure build pipeline you can deploy any type of application android .NET, desktop application docker container everything but we are creating our application in dotnet core so we are finding the dotnet core spnet core okay so i click apply now you see microsoft generated something for us what is restore build test everything agent supplier is a very very important thing what is the agent meaning agent meaning is the which machine this command the previous video we we are running some command so microsoft uh, microsoft created some machine for us to run this command suppose i select the ubuntu latest so this ubuntu latest machine that provided microsoft this built-in software that is dotnet cli dotnet dotnet ef all these tools of tools already installed in this uh, in this machine you can find which in uh, which type of machine you need mac os ubuntu all types of agent microsoft provided us but if you are using microsoft provided agent that then you uh, you are facing a, a issue when you are in the beginner for developing or learning purpose because if i click on the organization setup and click on the agent pool click on the first of all going to the billing some loading you see if you use microsoft hosted agent that time 1800 minutes free after that particular time microsoft build you uh, when you are running uh, uh, any pipeline then uh, when uh, any agent is running then microsoft uh, billing you that particular moment after the 1800 minutes uh, is expired if you are uh, using a self-hosted service one is free and microsoft not uh, charge you any value okay so that the reason when you are learning uh, learning uh, learning a stage don't use the microsoft hosted agent try to use self hosted agent but how can we create self hosted agent so now i am showing uh, next video i am showing you how to create self hosted agent but before and one thing when you are creating a new new microsoft account you are not this at that moment you are not using the ms hosted agent because now microsoft created some rules if you are using to microsoft hosted agent yeah, then first time you need to mail microsoft uh, uh, about the information why you need to uh, use this uh, hosted agent okay so now using the hosted agent uh, microsoft hosted agent i show you in the build pipeline first of all project to restore and build need to uh, write the location where my project is present there okay so if i go to my project that is uh, odme application my project location is api and the main file is csproj file so i copy from the src 
and so I told it its location is inside the src folder university management api this location then i not need this okay so this my project location okay and also microsoft need uh, yeah, my test project location okay so my test project location is uh, test and this csproj file so i also copy this location this copy and remove these two tag slash uh, any test dot csproj file or i think i don't need to test this enough for me okay so now is the globally i said this i also said the agent so restore build test microsoft also publish the project publish in artifact artifact directory would you mean backend api okay so now if i save save and queue save command done my work save and run you see the build pipeline is start working if i click the agent you see no hosted parallel has been purchased or granted to request a free parallelism uh, grant feel free the from it show that uh, microsoft now, now not granted me to use in any hosted agent so they told me to create a request using this form i click the And you need to uh, insert the information of the why you need to uh, need to use the Microsoft hosted agent. Okay, so this scenario everyone is facing when you are using uh, using the Microsoft hosted agent. So next video I will show you how to uh, how to I uh, we use in the uh, self hosted agent. That means the uh, hosted agent run in my local machine and microsoft connected uh, with me my local machine and they run all this command and then the success or fail the build okay bye bye